But now that you have completed the basic company profile setup, you can scroll right down. There are other details such as the milestones, awards, patents, and interest. Now all these are meant to help to add greater credibility to your business. Remember, the more information you share about your company, the greater the credibility it gets. Milestones here refers to the chronology of events of your company. Now let's try to add milestones. Click on edit, click on add. Let's assume that this company was set up in year 2000. To get to the year, click on top and scroll to the year 2000. Now the company was set up on 1st June, so we got it. Now let's enter the description for it. Zebra Kids Wear was founded by two partners, Alan and Megan. There you have, you can add another entry. The oldest entry will be at the bottom and the most recent entry will be on top. Assuming that um, in the year 2002, let's say May, February 21st, um, Zebra Kids Wear set up Shenzhen Factory. There you go. So we have two entries here. And in terms of privacy setting, you can choose who can see your milestones. By default, it is set to public, which means anyone on Hatchet can see this. But you may select private or to just your connections. So here we will just use the default setting of public and let's save the entry. There you go. That's the milestones of Zebra Kids Wear. Now let's do the same for awards, accolades, and achievements. The company may have received many different types of awards or business achievements that you would like to mention over here. So for instance, let's add Best Young Designers Award in the year, say, 2002. For the setting, again, um, I'll choose public here. But you have all the options and save. Now patterns and inventions work the same way as your awards and accolade just to show. You can delete it. That's it. We've come to a very crucial part on profile setup. This is the interest setting. Now this is very important because it determines what you will be receiving. Remember, thousands and thousands of users like you will be setting up their profile and sending posts and hatch. They will tag their posts and their hatch with keywords. If those match your interest setting here, you will receive those posts and hatch. So remember, this here refers to what you are interested to receive. Let's try it out. Click on edit. Let me get you a full view. Now over here, interest setting is divided into four different parts. The first part here being business opportunity type. Are you interested in franchise, licensing, distribution, dealership, trading, general supplies, joint ventures, sourcing buyers, M&A investment, or others? You can do multiple selection. For example, in this case um, of Zebra Kids Wear, they'll be interested in distribution. They're interested in bias and sourcing. Now, there's a privacy setting here. Again, do you want to set it for the public to view? Do you want to only make it private to yourself or just to your connection? So by default, it's public setting. 
the industries that you are interested in. This is categorized in alphabetical order. So you have different groups from um, A to C, D to E, and so on and so forth. Um, again, it allows multiple selections. So which are the industries that industries that you are interested in? Um, for example, children, probably consumers, Of course, you'll be interested in clothing manufacturing. Now, maybe let's go to the next category, D to F. You may be interested in fashion related. Let's take a look at G to I. Probably health and fit fitness, which may be somewhat related to what you're doing. No. No. Oh, nutritional and dietary supplements and services. So, so on and so forth. So you can select the industries that you're interested in. Now this could mean that your potential partners may be in these industries or you are just interested to read about the general trends or the players in these industries. Privacy setting for industries? Public. For products and services, it says here under the tip, input the products and services you are interested in, example, car solar panels, this will enable you to receive information relating to your interests. So this works like the hashtag, um, except that you do not need to put a hashtag in front. So you can put in kids wear distributor, distribution, fashion distribution. Maybe just a word, children. Kid stuff. You get a drift. Anytime that's the wrong one, just uh, delete away. So let me just put it back. Now, again, privacy setting. Geographies would be where which region or which countries would you want to receive news from so um this company is in singapore so we would want to hear it from singapore um we would also like to hear it from fact our factories in china so um we have china here Over here. Now, assuming that we are interested um, in the Middle East countries, so um, we are looking for potential partners in the Middle East. So let's see um, United Arab Emirates, um, it's one, um, Saudi Arabia. It's two. Qatar, let's see. Qatar would be here. All right. So these are the list of um, geographies or the list of countries that we're interested to hear news from. Um, privacy setting is public. Now, very important, and I'm going to do it in slow mo. Please move up here and save. If you don't save and you go on and exit to another screen, all the information that you have done on your interest setting will be lost and you have to redo it all over again. So here you are, 
and we have a full profile for zebra kids wear now we can preview as public this is what the public will see your basic company information your milestones accolades awards and your interests now for instance you want to make an edit here so company vision and description we we'll like to edit let's go back to profile edit we're going to edit off this um so i'm just going to grab it from company vision file so You can grab content from your company website. So let me just do a copy and a paste. So let's uh, preview this to see how it looks like. So save. And let's see. Preview is public. Zebra Kids Wear, a Singapore-based company, has its roots founded in 2000 by two fashion design school graduates, Alan and Megan. Now you can click here to show more. So here we have, and this is the profile for Zebra Kids Wear Manufacturing.